É, mais ou menos 30 anos atrás, no meados dos anos 90, o senhor escreveu um ensaio que ficou bem famoso na época e continua talvez um dos seus mais conhecidos. O nome em inglês é Why Bother? O nome em inglês no livro em que ele foi transcrito depois de sair uma revista, né? que a gente poderia traduzir é, como por que se importar, por que se dar ao trabalho, né? e era sobre por que se dar ao trabalho de escrever, para quem escrever, que ela estava uma espécie de crise em relação à sua vocação de escritor. Passados 30 anos desse ensaio, why bother? Por que se importar ainda hoje em escrever? Ficção, principalmente. Personally, I bother because I'm happy when I am writing a novel. Uh, I don't need to write novels anymore. I don't need to pay my bills by writing novels. But to load a set of characters into my brain and have them live there for two years so that at every minute, somewhere in my brain, I'm thinking about this story, trying to solve problems on it. That is a very, very happy state to be in. So that's at the personal level. At the, at the social level, I think, I think serious fiction is a refuge from stupid narratives. We have a lot of, everything is very political. And in politics, the narrative is our side is right, the other side is wrong. In fact, the other side is hateful, it's horrible. They're terrible. Uh, they're destroying the country, whatever. These are simplistic narratives. And what literary fiction, serious fiction, has come to be over the past 300 years is a place where things are more complicated, where there are no heroes, no villains, where people are you know, a mix of good and bad, and they're wrestling with important questions of what it means to be good or bad. And even though the audience has diminished somewhat in our age of screens, I think uh, for people who still read, there's a real hunger for Compli complicated narratives. Certo, P. 